Hey guys, what's up? Today we will be doing an oil change on the Ram. Needs one bad. And last night I went to Walmart, got all the essentials. I did one last time, but the pan wasn't big enough, so I got a much bigger pan, oil, and a much bigger filter. I made a mess last time, that's why I got this. And I got a mat, just so it doesn't make a mess all over my driveway. And we got the oil filter here, and the oil. Yeah, so, doing an oil change. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm under the truck, not much room. But last time I uh, made an absolute mess because my uh, drain pan was only 7 quarts. And I'm on, as you know, the Hemis take 7 quarts of oil. So this time I got a nice big 16 gallon, uh, 16 quart drain pan. I got a mat, might not be able to see it. I'm a big guy, so it's not the easiest for me to be under here. So right here's your oil drain plug. I'm going to take that off, drain your oil. And then, get my wrench, socket. Then we're going to go up the front, take the oil filter off, let that drain. And, uh, yeah, fill it up, lube it up, make sure everything goes well. Alright guys, the oil uh, pan is completely drained, plugs back in. And I just tried to go into the front, and I'm a bigger guy. Because I lowered the rear two inches, over, the, it's harder to get under the front than it used to be. Plus, like I said, I'm a big guy. Small guys can get under there easily. So I just jacked it up a little bit. Just to give myself more room to get to the oil filter. Which is, you know, not the worst spot. But I ain't in the best spot either. See if you can see it from where I'm at. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Right there. I'm trying to point it with the picture. Right there. So I'm going to pull that off. Let that drain completely. Lube up the new one. Put that on. It filled up with some. All right, guys, now while the uh, oil filter is draining, this is the oil filter I went with. It's actually a little bit bigger than the stock one that comes with the truck, but the dealership actually gave me this one on two of my oil changes before I started doing it myself. I started doing it myself, it's easier, it's faster, mainly because I don't have time to go to the dealership. I work a lot, and I do do Penn's Oil 5 to 20. No, I don't do synthetic yet. Why not? I don't know. I don't really care. This is works great. It's good. Engine's very, very clean inside. You saw that from the uh, the cam install. So seven quarts of oil for the Hemi. And while that's draining, you know what you do is before you put this on, if you know how to do an oil change, just lube up the filter and you just tighten it on hand tight. That's it, right? I'll show it to you. Just lube up here. A little bit of lube, not too much. Screw it on hand tight all the way up. Don't wrench it on. And fill the oil. I'll show you. Fill the oil there. Check it. Should be good to go. I'll get back in a little bit. Alright, now we're going to lube it. What you do is take a little bit of oil. On your finger. And just lube. Sorry, I'm doing this holding the camera and doing it. Just lube the ring. That should be good. That's what I did before. So, uh, I'm gonna go under there and put that on. All right, oil filter's on. Now what we're gonna do, yes, I have a ladder because I'm not a fucking shack and truck's set up a little high. Let's fill it up with oil. How many recommend, or require, not recommend. Emmys require seven quarts of oil, so that's what we're putting in. Next oil change, I probably will go synthetic. We will see. I don't know yet. It is better for the motor. You can go a little longer in between oil changes. Alright, I'm not going to show you how to dump this in and this in, so I'll be back. What we do is we check it now, let it run for 10 minutes, then check it again. It's hard to do this with holding the phone and, you know, doing this, so I'll get back to you. Alright, we're going to start her up. I'm only going to basically do this because I know you guys want to hear the cold start. Alright. 
All right, guys. Now I just checked the wheel after letting it run for about five, ten minutes. Everything is perfect. I'm going to show you how to reset the oil. The oil light. You go into your vehicle info. Is that? It says reset, hold, but you can't do it with the car running. The car has to be off. Hold it over where it says reset, zero. And you're all good, all set. Where it says 59%, that should change. It usually does when you start the car back up. Let's see. If it doesn't change, just do it again. Reset it again. Yes, I still have a check engine light if anyone's wondering. But I'll take it for a test drive and hopefully that 59% resets. Have a good one, guys.